Last time out, you saw us bounce back from FA Cup disappointment by putting six past Sociedad in the first leg of our Europa League semi-final. That's right, six, including four for Gianluca Scamacca. Today, we go to Anfield, where we face title chase in Liverpool, and then we host Leicester in our pursuit of guaranteeing ourselves Europa League football. Yes, welcome back, boys and girls. It is time to face Liverpool. Top of the table, Liverpool. And this is the team we're going to go with. We've got some injuries and or some tired legs and suspensions to deal with. So in a couple of changes to the usual strongest lineup, Emerson comes in at left back. Johnson comes in at right back. Uh, Barbosa comes in in place of Jared Bowen. And Trossard gets another start. Actually, I'm going to go Jao Pedro for Trossard. It's another last minute change. Will it work? Let's find out. Yes. High flying Liverpool. I mean, of course, Man United beat Man City in their game in hand, didn't they? But we've got two games in hand over United, two games in hand over Wolves. A victory in one of them will be enough to take us above both teams. So, in essence, it's a bit of a free hit. They've got Xavi Simons, they've got Cucurella at left back. Victor Ossiman, in, oh, don't say that name. Remember the Champions League final? You know, how many goals did he score in that and end up losing? Yeah. The less said about that, the better that was not good for my, for the old ticker. But ultimately, we came out on top that day. And hopefully, we can come out on top today. We'll offer some encouragement, as I'm supposed to do, I want to do, from kickoff in every game. And the amount of times I forget, and we get 10 minutes in before I get a chance to click it. But sometimes that actually works better. As Ben Johnson, Gabriel Barbosa, ooh, didn't quite work for us this time. But we carved a bit of a chance. Leicester winning 3-0, the team that we're going to face in the next game. Yes, I I was going to show you the second leg of the semi-final, but we're 6-0 up. We should be home and dry. So I'll just kind of show you a bit of a recap on it at the end. But I think we need to focus on our push for getting, trying to secure at least Europa League football. We've got Conference League football next year on the back of our Carabao Cup success. Um, if we can get ourselves up into above Wolves and Man United, then you know we can get Europa League football through the league. If we win the Europa League, we'll get Champions League football. But as Liverpool showed there, this squad is a little bit away from the quality required to be competitive in the Champions League. Ossiman, I mean, Harvey Elliott, Cody Gakpo, the names go on. We've got potential, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy with how we performed so far since we took over at West Ham. I just feel like a bit more quality at centre-back. Possibly left-back. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Pakatar gets up, though. He has grown massively. He scored against Sociedad. Now he scored against Liverpool. After an indifferent start to our relationship, to say the least. Come of the man, come of the hour. We sold our car to Lucas Paquita. Sorry, that is just in my head. I tried it last time. I'm going to try it every time he scores for us. Um, I'll refrain from doing the full Jared Bowen chant if he scores. But we'll do some of it. We'll do the... PG part. I mean, he's not going to score as it stands because he's not on the pitch. Someone who is on the pitch, though, is Victor Ossiman. And I'll be very surprised if this gets given as offside. It wasn't. It, it stands right on the brink of half time. Ossiman scores against us like he always does. That rascal. Two minutes in. We. Could have been so much better. There's a few demotivated faces in there. So we'll offer some encouragement now. And maybe, maybe that will give them the cuddle that they need to go out and try and rescue a point here. I don't want to be too critical on them. This is a Liverpool team, as I said in the intro, that are fighting for the title. Don't give away a penalty. Virgil van Dijk's going to stick it in the top corner, isn't he? No, he's going to hit the boat. Hit the boat. Hit the post. Hit the post. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Harvey Elliott. Oh, what a tackle from Paquetar. I mean, 
I can certainly see why West Ham fans love him. That clip of him getting involved in the scrap, trying to protect his teammates and their families. That would make you love anyone, wouldn't it? All right. What can we do? I mean, Jared Bowen. Come on, mate. Come on down. Give us a chance to sing your name and sing your name proud. Shao Pedro as well not had the kind of impact I was hoping for. So he's going to have a breather. And on's going to come Leandro Trossard. I could have gone with Matoma. I was tempted to go with Matoma. I'm choosing to show faith in Leandro. Be honest. That kind of left midfield position might be an area where we look to cash in if we can. Jared Bowen in the summer. If that, oh, I mean, that's poor. We need to definitely fund a move for at least one pretty good quality centre-back. Jared Bowen. Getting himself down the right-hand side. Finds Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson was looking for Skamaka. Alex Scott's burst into the box. Alex Scott tucked it away. I thought he was looking for Skamaka at the back post. He wasn't. He was looking for a goal himself. He's got it. He runs across to the West Ham fans to celebrate in front of him. You love to see it. As a gust of wind nearly takes my football shirt. It does take my football shirt off the wall. There we go. As if by magic. It's back on the wall. Need to get some blue tack or something to stick. Make sure that stays there. We can't be doing that. In this sweltering heat, we need the window open. We need the fan on. And speaking of fan, I am a fan of this West Ham side. It's funny how this football manager say almost... Like I wanted them to win the Conference League anyway, but... The fact that I'm doing this football manager save, you kind of get attached to teams, don't you? And almost, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have the same attachment if I was managing Man City or someone. But Skamaka, oh, I thought that was going to be in. But certainly players like Skamaka in this world, Alex Scott, um, yeah, this whole West Ham team really, really makes you kind of grow fond of them. And then... You get a bit more fulfilment out of seeing them do what oh, I mean. How has that gone in? He's just smashed it in off the def off Ignacio's face from the looks of it. It's given. I mean, it's not off his face, it's off his backside. As the wind goes again, that shirt's going to go, isn't it? It's holding on for dear life. I thought we were holding on. Shout some encouragement, see if that helps. Ossiman gets up and thankfully the ball bounces off the bar and back into Pickford's arms. Have we got anything to give in the last minute? Doesn't look like it. And the game is going to fizzle out to a 3-2 defeat. A valiant effort, probably not the amount of shots on targets or anything that you know we really need. But it shows us where we need to improve if we are going to be a Champions League side. And we gave Liverpool a couple of scares there. So I'm not overly concerned. But we'll, we'll dust ourselves off. We'll go and face Sociedad. And I'll see you in a minute for the Leicester game. Right then, I said we'd recap this game. And it wasn't a classic by any means. But a one all away in San Sebastian. Leonardo gave us a lead after 10 minutes. Before Robert Navarro got one back for them. But... The damage was done in the first leg. It was always going to be comfortable. And we did follow that up with a 3-2 victory against Nottingham Forest. Gabriel Barbosa with a hat-trick, including a last-minute equaliser and then an extra last-minute winner. Which leaves the Premier League looking a little something like this. We've got it in our own hands. Liverpool have the league in their own hands. If they win their next game, they are champions. If we beat Leicester... We go above Man United and into sixth, five points behind Arsenal. So sixth is probably as high as we can get. Um, yeah, Wolves, after we beat them, I think they dropped points in another game as well. So, all to play for, really. Um, do a quick pick, we've got some tired legs in there. Let's get David Brooks in for Conor Gallagher and we'll get... Shall Pedro come in on the right? Ben Johnson can play into the Bellanova. 
and big Dan Burns gonna have to come in and do a job from us. It's far from ideal, I'll be honest, but needs must. Must win game. So if we can win this and put ourselves up into that sixth spot and then Europa League football is in our own hands. And then it's just a straight shoot out whether we get whether we beat I'm going to say Dortmund. I don't actually know if it's Dortmund or Tottenham. It's one of them that we're playing in the final of the Europa League. But if we can win that, that puts us in the Champions League. And I will consider that a very, very successful season indeed. As Paqueta continues to adhere himself to me by winning the ball back and starting this sort of counter-attack. Emerson has done really well down the left-hand side. Um, every day, every game that he plays is sort of one game closer to his last for the club. He is leaving at the end of the season. Um, yeah, Truffert will naturally be our first choice left back, but he is suspended at the moment. So Emerson might be playing his final game as Alex Scott puts us in the lead. The young man from Guernsey, much has been made of that in real life for some reason as of late. I guess it's just his kind of rise to semi-fame. be interesting to see if he can get himself a move to the Premier League over the summer. I'm sure there'll be a few clubs looking at him. West Ham maybe possible destination. You know, If everything goes as expected, I think they're going to have a nice pile of money to spend should Declan Rice leave the club. Um, I just think the nature of the, the way they got the stadium deal and stuff like that as well. They'll be in the Europa League. There'll be money to spend, definitely. But with the if they do sell Declan Rice, which is looking very very likely, then yeah they'll be they'll certainly be looking to replace him. Not sure who they get. Maybe an Indeedy or something from Leicester as Beto gets in there with a twenty first goal of the season from an Ethan Laird cross, similar to how Skamaka's got a few goals for us really this. But yeah, I've Indeedy there with the kind of assist for the assist. That probably wouldn't actually be a bad shout for West Ham as a replacement for Declan Rice. I'm just going to put it out there. It might happen, it might not. Um, yeah, Skamaka is probably a bit far out for a free kick. He's given it the beans though. And unfortunately, it's just gone wide of the post. But I know, I didn't encourage the team, did I? Silly me. Dan Byrne doing what Dan Byrne is in the side to do. He's not here to do stepovers or beat his man. He's there to win headers. It's Trossard. Look how deep some of our players come. And João Pedro has managed to get himself in. He's rounded the keeper and the defender. James Justin. Just in the nick of time there. As he gets his foot in the way. And the ball goes wide. Harvey Barnes now. Dan Byrne again with a header. Paquetar with the lump forward. And Didi. Beto. Buendia. Beto's in. He's beaten Dan Byrne. Like I said... Uh, that is that is the risk when you play Dan Byrne, boys and girls. He's not the quickest. He does get beaten to the ball. Again, it highlights the need for us to go out and sign ourselves a nice top quality centre back in the summer. As we now trail 2-1 to Leicester. 16 minutes gone. I'm going to demand more than that's far from ideal. And I'll push for Europe I don't want to be bringing you a double defeated episode when I could have been showing you a semi-final and final of the Europa League but we can only do we can only play with the cards we're dealt it's still going to be in our own hands don't get me wrong it, if we lose this game it 100% rules out us finishing fifth which I think is very very unlikely anyway Skamaka with a nice dummy there before bringing it under control. Jewsbury Hall looking to bring the ball away, but David Brooks getting in the, involved. Packetar looking to dink it over the top. And now Leicester break. Harvey Barnes finds Beto and Dan, this time Dan Byrne making amends for arguably a mistake for one of the goals. And we make it to half time with 2 1 down. It's not great, is it? Let's 
stop. Oh, the fence has got the ump with us. Our half-time team talk didn't go down well with the defenders. Hopefully it fires them up. As we look for Jao Pedro, can't get there at the back post. Harvey Barnes keeps it in. I mean, he's lumped it forward. It's a foot race. Jordan Pickford should get there. Oh, I mean, I'm not convinced by that, but we've somehow managed to get away with it. Jao Pedro now, he can't control it. Ben Johnson slides in, breaks to Dewsbury Hall. He finds Beto, back to Dewsbury Hall, and Glebov somehow, thankfully for us, has not managed to get that on target. And we need to really wake ourselves up here. I'm going to have to demand more again because we have not been good. 66 minutes gone. Right, Matoma, come on. Leonardo, come on. Anyone else? Game's still going on in the background. I thought I paused it. Right, those two can come on. Hopefully that sparks us into life. I mean, you can see the tired legs, even the press... It's just nowhere near as intense as it normally is. We're just all over the pitch. We're not ourselves. And Leicester have missed some quite good chances to really put this game to bed. I'm clicking like mad. As soon as it lets me berate them, I'm going to berate them. There we go. We berated them. That's happened. Let's go higher tempo, slightly shorter. Um... Actually, I'm going to go slightly more direct. Let's take that off. Let's take that off. I reckon we hit early crosses. We've got Skamaka in there. Um, yeah, we push everything up, up high. Switch to an attacking mentality. Just in time to... I thought we were going to concede there. But Pickford clutches the ball to his chest. Taking his sweet time. And Byrne gives it back to him. Ben Johnson now. Can he do anything down this right-hand side? He can find Matoma. Matoma into the box. Matoma strikes. And it's a quite a good save from the keeper. Probably should be squaring that in that situation. Better know he's going to come on for Johnson. We look for Big Dan Byrne at the back. He can't get his header on target. What is the point of him? It's not been good from us at all. I mean, we've, according to the stats, we've been the better team. But according from what I've seen, we've been pretty woeful. As, ah, oh, Skamaka was offside anyway. I really thought he might just be about to produce a moment of sheer magic. I mean, the danger here is that we completely bottle this end of the season, isn't it? As Beto's in, finds Chowdhury, and Chowdhury puts the game to bed. And it is going to be a double defeat in this episode. That leaves us with a... St it's still in our hands. We've got two games to go. We've only got a... Well, we've got to win both of them, because only United might win... And, um, I mean, I guess we just kind of hope that the coefficient works out, that the extra spot goes down. But we might have to settle for Conference League football, which is... I mean, I would have took it at the start when I took over, don't get me wrong. But, given to where we've come to, yeah, not ideal. Right, boys and girls, hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a nice thumbs up on the video, like and subscribe do all that jazz and I'll see you early next week where we look to finish the season strong and we look to bring more silverware to the London Stadium. See you then. Bye bye.